Welcome to T11. I am Terry. I hope your week is going good. Get a little late start here on Thursday. I like to do the shows Monday and Thursday. You know, kind of keep a little week going, keep a little momentum going. Get a little late start, as you can see behind me. Uh, it is nighttime here in Seattle. If you're watching on YouTube, hi, good to see you here. Still not a lot of people thrown down on YouTube. I can't understand why. Who would love to see an old guy on YouTube just talking about his problems? <laughs> Today's going to be no different. I came in here once again with something else I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about taking chances. I wanted to talk about things to do to stay alive and to feel good. I'm going to be doing some comedy tomorrow night. And... It's just weird doing, it's an open mic. I'm not even booked. I'm just getting up on stage. And it's like, why are you doing this, dude? I don't understand what it is about me where I've got to do this stuff or where I want to do it. Actually, it's, I have to do it. I don't even want to do it. I don't even don't want to do it. It's just like, I have to do it. It's who I am. And I don't really have that much of a problem with it, but that's what I was going to talk about. But right now, I think I would just like to talk about, uh, I don't even know where to begin on this one. Um, but I just want to come out and say it, I guess. How about we do that? I'm having a very tough time aging. I'm having a tough time with my age. You could call it a midlife crisis, but I'm well past midlife. You could call it what you want, but I'm just right now for the first time. I mean, I've had things come into my mind like oh your knees don't work so much anymore you can't do this that all that type of stuff but I've never felt like my opportunities were getting more and more narrow before but I kind of feel that way now I kind of feel that way now so it's just right now it's just really hitting me hard so uh you know I mean let me let me I was looking at this. This is what made me want to do it. I was looking through my, I have a file de desk down here. And I p have a file of all of my old uh, TV and stuff headshots. If you're looking on YouTube, I'm holding a picture up of myself when I was like on the soap opera and things like that. That right there was me. That was me. Now I'm this. But that was me. Okay, this guy right here. If you're looking online, you can see this guy had a dump load of dreams, no money, no skills, scared shitless. Uh, but I knew everything was going to be okay. I just knew everything was going to be fine. I mean, I had time on my side. Youth is a commodity and you got to use it. If you're young and you have dreams, please, please go for them. Go for them. Sink yourself into it and just go for it. It's what I did. And I did have a certain level of success. But this guy here, right here, I mean, scared shitless. No dreams, no money, no skills, like I said. But I believed in the universe. And above all, I believed in me. I really thought things were going to work out for me. And, uh, you know, for the most part, they kind of did, but I'm not, I'm not this anymore. This is not me anymore. This is a version of me that is long gone. I mean, I can be dramatic and rip this up right now. How cool would that be? You know, that's not me anymore. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a bummer or a downer or anything like that, or a woe is me thing. There's plenty of people in the position I'm in right now. And maybe me bringing this up will make you feel a little more comfortable about what you're dealing with and a little bit less lonely knowing that, yeah, I know what you're doing. I know what you're feeling, you know, but that guy right there, I really, really believed in me, man. And I'm still all those things. I really am. I'm still all those things. I just don't have the, the youth and the looks anymore. And I enjoyed my time back then. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it pretty much all the way up until now when I'm starting to have all these doubts when I'm starting second guessing thing and I'm starting to feel like I'm in this shit alone. 
And it's sad that I feel this way because nobody should feel this way. My youth is gone. There's no denying it. But with the youth leaving, I'm feeling that some of my opportunities are also leaving. So are the, I don't know, the people that bought into me, the people that believed in me, they're not there anymore. They're, they're looking for the next young guy. They're looking for the next, uh, the rising star, somebody they could get stock in, you know, not a, not a grisly old vet like me, you know? I don't know. I don't know where all the people are that used to believe in me. I mean, I know that you guys are very supportive and trust me. I, I can feel it. The messages are fantastic and I really do appreciate you. And it does keep me going. It, it really does. But those people are gone. The people that saw my future, uh, they're not looking for somebody like me or anybody else pretty much in their fifties. I even feel worse for women. I mean, a guy can do stuff into his fifties into his early sixties. Guys could still do that. You, you can be a leading man. You can still have that thing about you, but women, I feel, I feel bad. I feel bad. If you are pursuing something that requires your, the vision of yourself or the way that other people visualize you as this energetic young, you know, somebody who's full of ideas and can take a, a loss and things like that. And I'll be honest. I'm so much better at that. I, I fooled some people. I fooled some people, man. Ugh. I mean, I fooled enough people to have a career in this industry. You know, I've also fooled enough people to have some, Really incredible experiences, meeting neat people, doing neat things. I mean, God, I wouldn't trade anything I have with anybody else right now. But it's just getting odd around here, you know? I got the gray hair, a little bit of gray hair now. I got, uh, at least I got hair, huh? I got wrinkles. You know, some people believe that maybe people our age, we have that inner light, that inner vibe going, and a lot of people have it dimming, and it's just a fight to to still shine it bright and to show that you are still somebody in love with the opportunities, in love with yourself, in love with your friends and your people around you, in love with your ideas, and nothing's going to stop you from getting them. But nobody sees that in you. They just don't see it. You know, it's really tough because I really think I'm much better at my craft now. At everything. At every single thing, I believe I'm a better person. I'm a better host because I've got a little more experience. I uh, There's a calm about me where some people would lose their shit because something else is going on there. I just have a certain calm about me knowing a way to work around a problem as far as a host goes, knowing how to look ahead to see what the joke's going to be, knowing all that kind of stuff, knowing what I'm very good at putting myself in your position and how you're viewing a bit, how you're viewing me, how you're viewing the show, how you're viewing everything. I think I'm pretty good at that. And I'm also just a better person now, man. I can handle Any success that comes my way now with grace, where I didn't before, I was like, yeah, I was like some dude at a strip club. Let's make it rain, mother fathers, you know, all that kind of stuff. I am much better at handling online hate and online critics and everything else. I I don't care. Uh, Before it would ruin my life. I would start changing what I do, changing the way I am, changing things that I say because some guy sitting in his underwear tagged me pretty good online. And uh, I would, I would change for that person. I would never do that now. And that would, and that happens with experience that happens with age that happens with happens with just putting yourself out there so often and having things like that happen so many times that it just doesn't have any zing at all anymore into it. But most importantly, I also think that I'm a better partner. I think I'm a better partner um, to Sherry. You know, I'm, I'm very lucky and I'm very grateful to have her. I mean, things are okay. Things are pretty good, you know. 
but I, but I, I'm not done. I don't feel like I'm done. I, I don't want to be done. Obviously I do not want to be done. And I'm not saying that I, it's coming to an end, but there, you start looking at the vision. You're not getting those pats on the back anymore. You're not getting program directors or consultants or owners of businesses or anything like that. It's going, this is the guy I want to gamble on. This is the future. You know, I don't want it to come to an end, but it looks like those opportunities are very few and far between. I don't want to say they've gone away, but they're definitely few and far between. And anybody in their fifties and above knows that. I mean, I should have seen the writing on the wall 20 years ago. I uh, pitched a TV show to a friend of mine, a friend of mine who is a TV producer. And he loved the pitch. He thought it was a great idea for a show. And this was 20 years ago. I was 40. Okay. And he was telling me that oh, we need to get a, a, a young person in here, you know, with a cool look with like maybe some facial hair and, you know, all this type of stuff. And it was my idea. It was a pitch that I had for me. And he immediately shot it down in my face. He loved my platform. He loved the fact that I have a bunch of listeners and viewers and everybody else that might be interested in maybe seeing me host a show or something like that. But I'll tell you, the guy made me feel like shit. And this is a friend of mine. He made me feel like shit. And for 20 years, I've been reliving that moment in my head. I've let him get to me. I've let his vision of what show business has become become my vision and fuck that was wrong that was so wrong but man that felt like a piece of crap you know then youtube comes along then podcasts then there's social media and all this stuff and all of a sudden you're given hope again you're told that this platform all these platforms if you're just yourself and if you work really hard Everything's going to be okay. There's opportunity there. I think it's way worse. I think it's absolutely way worse. It's not for people that are older. It just isn't. Sure, there are some examples out there. Some old lady that's made some cooking show and ends up with a billion followers because she was so authentic and people liked her and people share it around. But that doesn't last long for her either. None of it lasts long. You know, it's uh, that world just didn't for the older people. I mean, I don't have a team behind me. I don't have anybody like that. And I'm not crying. I just, I know what's ahead of me. And as long as we all know what's ahead of us, I think we're going to be able to compartmentalize it, knock each hurdle up as we see it, step over that hurdle and just keep moving forward. Or you could totally throw in the towel and do all that stuff. But nobody cares. I mean, you could feel that nobody cares. In fact, with social media and podcasting and all this stuff, you can actually tell that nobody cares about you because you're older in real time. Right then you're getting it. You're getting it thrown in your face. That's ridiculous. But yeah, you know, and, and, uh, and all of a sudden people are flipping through the stuff and they get to somebody that looks like us, looks like me. Ah, fuck that. I don't want, what is that? I'm that guy, that guy's not young and hot. You know, it's a reality. It's the reality. But then I remember a conversation and get ready for a name drop moment. Name drop. I was talking to, and if you listen to the Lex and Terry show, you know that we've had this guy on our show as a regular all the time. Gene Simmons from the band Kiss. So he would come in all the time. He'd be on the phone all the time. You know, we got to know him very well. And well enough to have private conversations with. And I was with him when somebody said to him, um, why are you so positive? Because he's a real positive guy. And look at him. I mean, he's older than me, but he's just still doing his thing. You know, he's still doing it. I love the fact that he's doing it. But, you know, they said, why are you so positive, Gene? And he said, he looked her right in the eyes. He goes, what's the alternative? And that's true. What is the alternative? You know, 
I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if you're in this, if you are uh, coming up with new ideas and you finally maybe saved enough money to open up that store you wanted to do later in life or to travel more to this and that and all that stuff, um, I'm pulling for you. I'm pulling for you. I am a big fan right now. And yes, obviously, it's because I feel your pain. I'm living your pain. But we don't have to look at it that way. We do not have to look at it that way. We can choose right now just to move forward and to take some more lumps, to laugh along the way. I, I just, uh, you know, they, they tell you that all this stuff, you know, as long as you're authentic, none of these people are authentic, you know? I'm being as authentic as I could be, especially on this podcast. This is a side of me that I've never seen. And I'm pretty proud of this person. Very proud of this person. But as long as, as far as that's where it goes, if, if, if that's how far it goes, then me being proud of myself, that's a win, isn't it? So just keep working. Just keep doing things until you're proud of yourself. So I guess I'm there. Never mind. <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. Anybody want a ripped up picture? A little drama queen picture? Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back on Monday with another new show. Thank you for sharing the show. Thank you for reviewing the show. Thank you for buying the Wombats t-shirt. We sold another one today. If you go to terryjames.com, you click on merch, you can go ahead and get that. Because we're going to be leaving this beautiful view behind me. And we're going to have another beautiful view. But it's going to be a different type of view. I'm just not going to be living in a giant building with a bunch of other people. And... Um, I'm going to have a new studio and a whole new set of dreams, a whole new vibe. And thank you for joining me for the journey, man. Really appreciate you.